Um, so I'm here with the guys from ZA. How are you guys today? Fine. We are yeah, really good. We just played uh, 20 minutes ago and we had a lot of fun playing today in the uh, Dur Festival. Was there a great vibe in the audience? Yes, there was different kind of, um, of way of acting, which was cool. Uh, there was people that was standing like this and trying to look all the pedals that we have. Others just dancing. And, uh, and, and others that they um, they didn't sleep last night. Yeah, like, you like Nirvana see. song, you know. <laughs> you could see in the eyes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because that's so much fun about you two. You are just two people, but when you are on stage, it sounds like there's an entire band. Um, how do you achieve these effects? How do you do that? Yeah, we play. Uh, uh, we make always playback, like in the TV. Yeah. It's all a uh, uh, playback. It's fake, no. Yeah, it's, 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 fake, it's, it's fake. fake. We don't even sing. We uh, we just the drums are mute and the guitar has no strings. But he just presses play, power presses play, and we, we are really good at playback. Yeah, the, the technician, the, the, um, the music engineer in, yeah. in the desk, he, he do the play, and that's The man it. in the shadow. The man in the shadows. <laughs> um, so not only is your music quite experimental, let's say, but also the lyrics, because I've heard a song that has sauerkraut in lederhosen oh, yeah. in it. <laughs> What's that all about? How do you come up with this stuff? Um, yes. There are some lyrics that are a bit uh, like absurd or are, co or are just concepts that we find that are powerful and some words that uh, uh, I learned in a, in a movie called Top Secret, a funny movie from the 80s, I guess. Yeah. Um, when the... Val, Val, Kilmer. Val Kilmer, you know that movie, right? When the he got fat now. Yeah, he got uh, really yeah, fat, yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody ate Val Kilmer and he pretends to be Val Kilmer right now. <laughs> and the guy... Uh, snake, yeah, snake, snake ate Val Kilmer. <laughs> And then Val Kilmer is trying to learn uh, German and, and there was a sentence like It is Sauerkraut in meinem Lederhosen and it, we found it very powerful. So the song is about Christmas but we sing Lederhosen and Sauerkraut. Sauerkraut and Christmas, that's a perfect yeah. combination. <laughs> <laughs> um, and just to get back to the instruments real quick, I read in an interview that you once had to bang on a beer barrel because you oh. forgot your instruments, is that true? Yeah, that's true. Uh, we went uh, on a show in Tarragona and we were, we were just got off work and we went really fast to play and we forgot one, uh, one tom from the drums. So we played in a bar and we found that there was a beer barrel, metal barrel, and it was a bit a, a good substitution because it sounded a bit like an Sturz and the Neubauten. Yeah, it was cool. like, like Sepultura in the Roots album. Yeah. <laughs> was the barrel full at the beginning and empty at the end? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> I can't remember anything. Um, so you can't really put the ZA sound in a specific category um, since it's a mix of so many elements. What is the secret of the ZA sound? Wow! Chan, 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 chan. Good question. Um, I don't know, I don't know, but um, uh, what we think about making songs is that we cannot repeat the, the trick of other song. If there's a song where um, Edu is playing uh, drums uh, in this rhythm and singing, then he has to do another uh, uh, comp uh, uh, a different thing. And if I'm playing uh, the guitar with uh, power chords, I can make it just for a song. Next song, I have to change uh, power chords and I have to play the guitar just with one hand or uh, play sampler and guitar or learn another instrument. So this yeah, because you have a very good live reputation, I heard. One of the best I'm live playing. bands in Spain, it seems. Uh -huh. Because I saw you from backstage, you really give it your all. Eh? You were sweating like a pig there. <laughs> um, yeah, well, we, we sweat a lot, yes. Uh, we were talking before the show about this. Yeah. And, uh, I feel a bit frustrated there because I sweat a lot. And then last, last week we were, pl we were playing in another city and we slept at a friend's house. And it was so hot that I, I had to sleep on the floor because it was the only cool place in the, in the, house. In the house. Yeah, but... Um, you, I know that you think that you sweat a lot, but I think that you just sweat normally. I know you love me, but I sweat no, a lot. No, 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 but... Uh, uh, I sweat a lot. Yeah, I accept you as you are, but... Uh, okay, thank you. Sweat and all. <laughs> Girl, I want to make you sweat. <laughs> we have to do a music pop quiz, perhaps, afterwards. Oh, that would be cool. <laughs> so after your gig here in Dur, you're on your way to Japan for a big tour. Yes. Because I heard you're really big manga fans. Um, is there a great inspiration behind manga that you prefer? Yeah, more or less. Uh, we are not uh, like um, 
very literate about uh, manga, but we are so fan of Akira movie. Maybe you know that that. that uh, yeah, movie. the name rings a bell. Yeah, it was um, like the big uh, Japanese manga movie in the late 80s. And when we were at the school and high school, with all our friends, we were just uh, singing the songs. And, and I don't know, someone bought the comic. Um, yeah, uh, sometimes we try to copy the sound of that uh, sa the soundtrack, you know. Yeah, that soundtrack was really inspiring uh, because it opened us to a different kind of um, Asian uh, traditional music. And what's cool about the Akira soundtrack is it mixes this traditional music with modern sounds. Yeah, and, cyber and cyberpunk. Yeah, so. so it was really like, what the fuck is happening? I'm, I'm listening to Nirvana and Rage Against the Machine, but now this. And yeah, uh, we, with that we try to mix it. You guys are Spanish. How's your Japanese? Uh, really bad. Uh, I think it's zebra. It's not bad. It's, it doesn't exist. It's ah, zero. Oh, um, you know a little bit. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. Watashi wa pao. Konnichiwa. And what does that mean, that sentence? Um, uh, I'm pao. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you can go anywhere right now. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so don't get too far ichi, in Japan. Ichi, uh, ichi ni san sido. This is one, two, three, four, five. And this is so important when you are going to a country. And skebe, which skebe. is uh, pervert. Because uh, in Dragon Ball manga, the the Pulla Tortuga, the turtle guy, was reading always yeah, Skebe, Skebe magazines, which was pervert magazine. Yeah, Erikoputa is a um, great word, uh, which means helicopter. You know, like the Japanese guys. Erikoputa. Yeah, they read helicopter and they say Erikoputa. Yeah. Uh, but it's funny because in, Spa in Spanish, Erikoputa, it sounds more like hijo de puta. You know what that sounds like? Right? I know what it is in oh. Spanish, but I'm not going to translate. Oh, do it! <laughs> do it! Do it! <laughs> no. There are little children watching, so oh, that oh, might oh, not oh, be oh, a good oh, idea. Oh, oh. <laughs> Can you say perhaps read you united in a Japanese way, like really hard, like you say helicopter? Mm, sorry. Can you say radio united, but then in a Japanese ah. way? Ah, radio united. Saruta no Suno Sano to Radio Unitero. <laughs> we don't respect the Japanese people there. <laughs> that was amazing. Thank you guys so much okay. for the interview and good luck on your Japanese tour. Hey, Thank you so much. Thanks, Thanks for the interview.